If I went out there and I said, uh, Ryan, punch me in the face. I'll give you $1,000 if you punch me in the face. And I just did this. Yep. You would never get that $1,000. I could run forever. If you're attacked in a parking lot, good news, you're in literally the best place to get attacked because yep. you got limitless space around you most of the time. But that's not real. What happens within these walls is kind of more like what really happens. And at Fit to Fight, they have transformed a huge portion of their training facility into tight, confined spaces, hallways. Guess what? This is what the shit will look like. You will be fighting in places like this. When we do the self-defense stuff with weapons, yep. first thing everyone says, create distance. It's like, shit, not if he's got the weapon and I can't get into cover. Right. The answer is quite the opposite. So this is Ryan Hoover from Fit to Fight, and he's gonna talk to us a little bit about fighting in confined spaces, pros, cons. 180 degrees, I don't have to worry about it now, let's go. I'm hell in the back seat of a car, man. Hey, look, I can throw full like, uh, kicks. Get out of you know, the car. Don't back yourself into a corner, get off the wall, whatever. I mean, maybe, but maybe not, I mean, if all of a sudden I'm like, all right, yeah. Now I got 90 degrees I got to worry about. You're going to have to take one to get here. You know the same guy saying never to do that? Same guy's putting fucking Spartan helmets on their shit. And that was the whole thing that they did. <laughs> Gates of Thermopylae yeah, right there, right? right? <laughs> people say, well, create space, run. Well, I mean, we had a dude attacking people on a, on a light rail with a machete not too long ago. You can't go many places. Where, where are you going to run to? Yeah, you're stuck you in know? here. So I, I think I think the wall for me, I like it. You know? Yeah. It definitely can be a problem, no doubt, but I like it. I I, I think if if I can fight, yep. if I if I feel good with my clinch work, the wall is great. Like I I don't I don't mind this. This doesn't bother me. I, I can use this wall, I can brace against this wall. And I can use that wall, I can push off of this wall and push you into this one. And I'm giving them a little, I was giving them a little bit of like untrained energy, but even, hey, wall wrestling is a real thing in MMA. Even if I knew, all time, all even if I knew what the fuck I was doing, right? This is a brace, for, it can be, it can also be a thing that I use. Right. I can, I can pin you to Absolutely. it and hold you there. It makes it pro problematic. But if I start trying to pull your legs out, you yep. start facing out. It's harder for me to knock you down. Yep. Right? Because that wall's there. I took, we did, we were at a Muay Thai place last night and then boys were wrecking me. It yeah. was young guys that trained full time. And there was a lot of times where they were getting the better of me and I put, is this more stun gun shit? You no. better not come around here with the damn stun gun again. I'm, we're doing serious stuff now. I, I ended up, <laughs> make sure you subscribe. We did some play with stun guns earlier. They got me. The young guys were pinning me against the wall. Yeah. And now if time was a concern, if it was a person really trying to hurt me, I sure. need to hurry. But if I don't need to hurt, sometimes you don't need to hurry. There's a lot of sometimes maybes in, you're famous for saying? It depends. It depends. The, I was resting. I was resting and yeah. figuring it out and gathering and waiting for him to make a mistake. If he was stabbing me that whole time, I'd need to move. If sure. I, he was going for my gun, I need to move. But if his goal was just to hold me there, yep. and I just wanted to, yep. okay, I can't. So he's got a good position on me. He's got the underhook. He's got his head position. Right. But if maybe I just need to brace and chill, yep. figure out what I want to do next, and then do my whatever your thing is. Well, you'll hear people say all the time, uh, get up as soon as possible, or get out as soon as possible, or whatever. That might not be the best advice. Yeah, you know? if I hit the ground here, right, right, and my first instinct is, oh, I'm going to get up. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I might need to stay down here. Yeah. I might need to 100%. pick other avenues. You got up as soon as feasible there. Yeah. You made space. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is he doing? I might, like, I might never be able to get up. Right. You might move with me. Yes. I might have to fight you like this. Right. And I need to know how to fight like this. And if you don't practice how to fight like this. It's not going to just magically happen. So, so, but we're not just going to bash all the reality based self defense guys. We're gonna fuck up the MMA guys too and the BJJ guys too. Yeah. Cause I wanna go in here, cause you recently posted on your Instagram. I'll post his Instagram down below. <sighs> what do you do when someone's on top, Ryan? What do you do? Hey, jujitsu guys. Shrimp. Hey, what do you do when someone's on top, jujitsu guys? You shrimp, right? Just shrimp. Just scoot. Just yep. shrimp. Yep. Just bridge. Trap and roll. Right? All those things. 
I'm about to show you a scenario that's totally unrealistic, right? This yeah. would never, never happen. happen. This would, shrimp, Ryan. Yeah. Shrimp. And not only can you not shrimp, you can't buck. Yeah, that's too mushy. Yeah, it doesn't work. And, and look, I, I'm a big fan of jujitsu. Not jujitsu people so much, but I'm a big fan of jujitsu. Um, actually, I appreciate you. You've helped me put into words how I feel. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I train jujitsu. I teach jujitsu. I've been doing it for a very long time. Um, but people would argue that some of the things that I teach from here is jujitsu, right? You know, and it probably it is, is, but it's context based. Right. In most jujitsu, you're going to see gi, no yeah. gi, right? Yeah. Not t-shirts. Yeah. I was going to say like maybe some sort of Ezekiel choke or something like that from yep. there. Like yep. something that in a, in a jujitsu gym, they'd probably say, don't do that. Improve your position. Right. Your position is not getting improved. No, it's not. It's not going to happen. And, 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 and I'm actually going to maybe try to use a, a submission to improve position. Right. So if I can, if I can use guard jujitsu, yeah. pull him in, try to get some, uh, take away the space for this moment in time. And now I can start using things like jujitsu, where I, maybe I bunch up his shirt, maybe I feed this back through here, and not only am I just using a submission, but I'm using it to help move him off of me, and now I can finish from top. Oh my God. <sighs> because the, the space. You know, you know what's crazy? I was trying to do things to like relieve that pressure, and when I went to push, like, like this is so mushy. Yeah. Like, yeah. But if you've never practiced this, there's, I, I guarantee there's, there'll be some jujitsu guys who are like light bulbing, like, yeah, dude, yeah, this is different. Oh. Like I literally if, felt if like if I was in the room over here on the mattress. It's different. Well, I've done a little bit of mattress yeah, yeah, jujitsu. Um, <laughs> but, but like, so this space is contested. You're not going to, you're not going to, go. this space sweetness. is contested. Yeah. I'm not going to go that way because you've got all the weight advantage. You've got the, the power advantage. So the uncontested space is over here. Well, shrimping is not going to get me there because I physically cannot shrimp on this. Yeah. You just can't. Yeah. So I need to break your posture, bring you into me for however long I need to be here. Yeah. And then the one that I just did, and we show a couple of versions from this, is, is bunching up the shirt this way. And then I'm feeding the hand through, and I'm going and finding this uh, far side forearm here. And now it is kind of a modified Ezekiel wear. And now I'm looking to take Mike to the uncontested space over here. And then I can finish from top. Yeah. Fucking Christ. <sighs> and I mean, there are other options like, but I, I think using the shirt here is, is big. So even if I, if I grab, the, you good with me? Yeah, you, yeah, I got it. I got a bunch of these. Even if I grab <laughs> the, the front of this shirt and then I feed it around to this side, now, where does he want to go to get away from that? I don't know. I don't know, because I suck at jujitsu. Fuck, 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 fuck. And I may not finish that choke. I don't care. Mm -hmm. he, for him yeah, get, live energy might get a little squirrely. Right. Yeah. But for him to get away from it for that moment in time, he needs to spin out. Like, if I were going to try to finish this, like, let's say we were against the wall. Here. And maybe I was able to get an underhook, something like this, a snap from head down, and I grab the front of the shirt here. I take this elbow to the other side, and I drop this elbow down. But now, if I don't have the underhook and I do this, he can spin out of it. Right. So that's what's happening there. Yeah, even if I, if I spin out, great, I'm off of you and right. we're off the couch. Exactly. And you're one step closer to creating distance. Right. You, you need to go to the space, to relieve the choke, you need to go to the space that I need you to go to. You know what this really boils down to? Is practicing this is, we, we have both, been on record a bunch of times. Practicing this sucks. Yeah. It's fucking unpleasant. Especially if you're good at jujitsu. Right? Like me, I think this stuff is cool and fun. Jujitsu is not my jam. Right? It's cool and fun because I don't have any, I don't already feel like I'm good at it. Yeah. So getting on here and feeling bad at it doesn't hurt me. Right. But I know that for a lot of people when they're put out of their comfort zone, you know, uh, Seth very famously goes and does martial arts that he's not good at. You know, go into a boxing thing. You know what I mean? He's like, yeah, I'm going to get beat up. Right. That's how you get better and shit. Yep. You know, and the fact that you guys have like gone the extra step to, I've done outings. We'll go outside or we'll go to the fence or I'll we'll right. do something specific, like a, a one-off thing. But you guys have built a whole house. Listen, I, we, we just had somebody here a week or two ago. He's like, I've been in shoot houses all over the place, law enforcement, military stuff. 
But they're just open rooms. Yeah. You know? We're not working off of couches and end tables and mattresses and bookcases and stuff like that. Yeah. Next weekend, we have Warrior Poet Society coming here to run a course because of Because we've got a place where they can, they can yeah. grapple and box um, and wrestle. And, and, you know, it, it, we've always worked off of walls and things like that, but you can't do it on real drywall without just wrecking your place you know yeah. and in here like we can move stuff around we can change things up we can kill the light you know there's lots that we can do to make throw on a strobe light all kinds of things that that can can put layers of stress on people that but you're not going to get otherwise yeah and you don't have to leave to go do it you don't have to outsource it anymore you right. don't have to yeah it's almost like he, it's almost like he takes this stuff seriously <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna tune them up though. We're gonna make them have some fun here. So make sure you're subscribed. But I'll link all of Ryan's stuff down below, his YouTube channels, his Instagram stuff. I'm trying to turn him into something of an influencer. Um, he's gonna teach me how to fight. I'm gonna teach him how to do the other stuff. But if you want more fitness tips, self-defense techniques, gear reviews, as well as concepts and principles that make you hard to hurt, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. <laughs> don't, don't get the fuck the hooser. <laughs> <laughs> she got both legs. 